Greetings people of the internet, my name is Knuckles Productions 360 and today I have another figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Angry Birds Game Pack 2019. Now, um, it's been a while since I did a figure review so I might as well uh, this because I went to Smith's uh, during the half term. So yeah, let's get to it then. So I don't have the box uh, but here are all the figures and yes, yeah, this is I guess my first Angry Birds video on this uh, channel and as I said before I don't have the box but um, here's a picture of it. Okay, so yes, that is correct. Jazzwares did make these. So I'm going to be honest with you, I am a huge Angry Birds fan and I do collect uh, a lot of the merchandise. I think I have more Angry Birds merchandise than Mario and Sonic combined, but yeah, let's, let's get started with these figures. So you get five figures in this set. This is what kind of drawed me because um, recently they've been using the movie designs in a lot of their merchandise and I'm not a fan of them, I really hate them with the arms and legs because they look too human-like and yeah, I just, I want it to go, like all of that just terrible designs go and when I saw this, I, I was like, oh my god, they're actually going back to using these designs and yeah, these are the designs I grew up with because, I mean, Angry, Angry Birds is just one of my favourite games to play on my phone and I, I just love it. So let's get started. So we have five characters in this uh, pack. We've got Red, uh, the Blues, Chuck, Bomb, and King Leonard. I believe that's what I call him, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with Red himself. So here is uh, Red, if I can get him to focus. Go on, focus camera. Hang on, got a bit dark, there we go. So, um, yeah, I will give credit. This is pretty damn good uh, for a red figure. Uh, his design is very similar to the Angry Birds Toons show, which is really good, by the way. I recommend watching. And, yeah, I, like, he's got some very good uh, eye thing. I think my one suffers from a bit of uh, quality control with the eye being up there instead of down. Uh, but, yeah, the eyebrows are good. Uh, there's no articulation on these figures, unfortunately. But that's all right. I mean, it could have been much worse. Uh, on the back here, you've got the Jazzwares um, logo and all that stuff. And yeah, so uh, the gimmick with all these figures, if you press down on them, then uh, the teeth kind of come out. They're like Happy Meal toys. And I will admit, I did get a chuckle out of these when I saw them in the uh, the store. Uh, so Red's one, like the eyebrows also move as well. Uh, my one's kind, my Red kind of doesn't, so I have to kind of tilt the eyebrow that way to make it look like he's angry. But yeah, I really like, because he just looks confused half the time, but yeah, I really like this figure. There's nothing much, it's just, just the copyright stuff on the back. And yeah, these figures are just brilliant, I love them. So yeah, awesome, I love the red, that's a really good figure. Uh, next up we have the blue, um, Bluebird, uh, I call him, or the blues as they call him now, because he's got um, a name, they've all got names. I'll give credit, I'm really a fan of this. Um, I love how they still capture the kind of wacky and cartooniness of Angry Birds. Um, I think they did a fantastic job on it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really much. The quality control on, on blue is actually really good. Uh, much better than red, I'd say. And I love all the little details, like red's little uh, things here. Um, so the gimmick with him is if you press down on the bottom, <laughs> he just kind of sticks uh, his tongue out. And I just find that really funny, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty good uh the copyright uh he doesn't have the same writing as the uh as red does but it's close enough so i like this one very accurate uh the size however is not the best but again these figures um don't really i don't really care it's a normal thing with angry birds that the size are very inaccurate to how they normally are in the games and how the artwork is presented but oh well um is what i have to do so yeah that's a really good one i love blue i think he's awesome now we get on to my favourite figure, and my favourite Angry Bird, Chuck. Um, so here he is. I will give credit, this is my favourite Chuck figure. Because um, it looks more accurate to the Yellow Bird himself. Because uh, in a lot of like merchandise and figures, it, it's good, but they don't really capture enough of the goodness between Chuck. I think they did it really good here. I like the um, the eyes, the tongue, well, all of the bottom parts, the details. 
uh, the back feather, the writing and all says on the back, and his eyebrows. And if you press down, he does kind of like a kind of grim expression. Uh, it's very hard to kind of make out there. Uh, the only flaw that I have with him is that this part here is kind of a um, kind of like a greenish color, uh, but. It's okay because that normally happens on all Chuck figures. Uh, yellow and black don't really work out very well uh, with some figures like Chuck figures, so it doesn't really. But the color palette are not very good in the quality control. But this figure is perfectly good. So I like it. So yeah, there's uh, there's Chuck. Now we move on to Bomb. Now Bomb in this set. Oh boy, uh, I like his design. It's Again, all these designs are based off of the Angry Birds tunes, which I just love that show. But the front of him is not the best because his beak is, again, same problem with the Chuck one. Um, the kind of blackish kind of, I guess, merged with the yellow and it doesn't really look very nice. Also, his top part is really inaccurate color. It should be more, well, actually, yeah, it's very inaccurate. It should be more of a light um yellow instead of being a very um like darkish color uh but yeah he's very accurate his size is very good uh, when you press down on him <laughs> i just love this one it's like he's grinning ready for like an awesome battle or something so yeah that that's awesome i like that so it's very good um very amazing and now we move on to the final figure uh, bombs quality control is not the best but we have the final figure and i will admit he might be the best in the series King Pig. I call him King Pig or King Leonard, whatever the hell you want to call him. Um, I really like this figure. I think he looks perfect. This is actually King Pig's original design, which was used in a lot of the early Angry Birds concept art and um, in some of the shorts as well and in Toons. So I really like it. Um, we've never really gotten a figure of him uh, in his Toons design. We've got one that's based off of the original. Hang on, I'll be right back to show you. In so here is a comparison between the three king pigs that now I own. So here we have the, uh, the in the middle we have the new one. Uh, this one is the Japanese bootlegged uh, king pig, I think. Uh, but I think it's from China or Hong Kong or something. But yeah, I I grew up with that. That's my first Angry Birds uh, figures. They were actually. Um, I have all of them, all the set. Uh, and then this one right here. This is the touch one that you would put on your phone in 2010. Um, this one's quite cool. I mean, it was made, I think, by Mattel. Yeah, so that was quite cool. I think a lot of Angry Birds merchandise was made by um, Mattel, actually, which is quite interesting because they lost the license um, and then Jazzwares took over. But honestly, I like all of the, these designs. Um, if you want more of a king pig who's accurate to the game, I would suggest picking up this guy. He's very easy to get a hold of. And on eBay, he often goes for like £10 or something. The bootlegged Angry Birds, yeah, they're, they're very cheap to find. I would not recommend um, the China ones, but again, they're, they're very good. I, I like their designs. I think they're perfect. Uh, and then we have the king pig. In the middle, we have King Leonard. I definitely recommend that version if you want a one that's you know in scale with the other angry birds then yeah that is your best one so yeah those ones are really good so while i'm at it i might as well do a bit of a comparison between all of them so here is red bird with my own red bird you can check out the size in comparison between the two of them uh this one's more fatter and the one on the um right is more skinnier um, I do think that this one, because I do often use it, but it just shakes around a bit. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is my first red bird, and I think this one looks perfect. They capture the kind of angriness of the angry birds perfectly in this. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So there's the red bird. Now onto blue bird. Now, oh, sorry, there's red. Now onto the blues. So. Uh, the Bluebird, uh, this one I'm not a fan of, I will admit that this, this one's a little bit better than that one. Uh, but, yeah, I think it looks good. Um, there's nothing really much, their colour palette in quality control is not very good with the bootlegged ones. Um, but, yeah, but, but that's good, that's a good one. Uh, now we go on to Chuck. So, comparis comparing Chuck to, um, the previous Chuck figure, 
Yeah, my one is, uh, I definitely think a little bit, I prefer this one to the original. I mean, this one does have a much better colour scheme. Um, they did get the top part of his hair not, I guess, accurate. Um, and also, he has these, uh, if you look right here, he's got black underlines. Um, as a per as a kid, I always thought he was wearing eyeshadow, which uh, I just thought was just absolutely funny. Um, but honestly, it's it looks really weird compared to nowadays Angry Birds merchandise, because he's never really had those in the game. Like, never. Even in the concept art, he's never had it, so... Yeah, honestly, uh, th this one still is good. I hold it in my heart, but I prefer the newer one to kind of that. And finally, we compare Bomb and Bomb. So, which is better? I prefer the newer one because this one is just pretty weird. I mean, sure, Bomb is missing his white dot on there, but I don't mind the white dot because, I mean, sure, he did technically have it in the original games, uh, but then he kind of ended up losing it by the time of the newer ones, but yeah, I think, I think he still has it, but this Bomb figure's quality is not the best. Uh, in fact, all of the Angry Birds um, quality in my bootlegged collection are not the best. Uh, but he also has his tail, which they surprisingly removed in the redesign. But it's not here anymore. He's the only uh, one out of the three, besides um, Leonard, who actually doesn't have a tail, in fact. Yeah, Leonard does have a tail. He has a little curl, but uh, Bomb just doesn't have a tail. Which is pretty interesting. He doesn't have feathers in the back. Uh, his eyebrows are changed colour. Uh, his eyes seem to be really beady on this side, but uh, yeah, this version's definitely the better version. So yeah, there we go. And as for the other stuff you get, well, you only get like this card, which shows a pig design. Uh, it's only like a few like review codes for um, Angry Birds action. Uh, I don't play Angry Birds anymore as much as I used to. I still play the original, I don't play any of the newer ones. And then here we have this kind of Angry Birds leaflet that kind of shows you the past design, like all of the stuff you can look out for. Not the best. All the credit. It also shows you the little uh, load and launch. So I'm glad that Jazzwares at least putting some effort in than other stuff. So yeah, what do you guys think of uh, these figures? Do you like them or do you think that they're, they're bad? Uh, comment in the section down below. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, and if you guys want to buy these, uh, the link is in the description down below. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.